The deadly shooting on this street marked the seventh homicide victim this year in Indianapolis under the age of 18. All but one of those previous cases have been solved. That's why friends and family of the 15-year-old kill also hope someone is held accountable for his death as well. Here along Ellis Drive, just before sunset Tuesday night, IMPD found 15-year-old Kiliante Brewer with a gunshot wound and rushed him to the hospital where he later died. We were told by um, some of our students who witnessed what happened that they were walking to play basketball. Car made a U-turn and uh, shot him several times. Brewer attended the nearby Phelan Leadership Academy where the school's principal says the teen will be missed. It is. It's hard to um, tell children who come to school and ask, Miss Fama, what's happening? Why, why did this happen? Why, why Kiliante? We don't have the answers. It was about one block, I believe, east of where we were. Greenwood City Councilman uh, Ezra right. Hill was on patrol with the 10 Point Coalition along Mithoffer on Tuesday when he heard a half dozen gunshots. He sat over such a young man losing his life. When he's got his whole life ahead of him, and it, it doesn't make sense, and you know, I don't know what happened or why, but uh, it really is unfortunate. Detectives are actively working this investigation, trying to figure out what happened. While the motive for the murder remains unclear, IMPD reminds parents across Indianapolis there are programs aimed at keeping kids out of trouble, like the Safe Summer Program, which can help kids learn how to solve conflicts without violence. We are encouraging our, our families and our community members to take advantage of those opportunities and get our youth in those programs. Less than seven months ago in November, a 19 year old named Marissa Collins was shot to death here on the same street where Brewer was killed. No one was ever arrested for that homicide. Anyone with information on either case is still asked to contact Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, CBS 4 News. Jesse, thank you.